shop called. They had a cancellation this Thursday and Friday, so I was able to move up from the end of the month. We're going to go get the parts put on today, and then I have a meeting tonight, and then I'm going to take the car back tomorrow morning to do the tune it just to make sure everything's fine, switching from a catted to a catted downpipe. I'm going to roll some clips of the exhaust, the NVIDIA exhaust, so we can kind of do a comparison. When I switched to the NVIDIA R400, I really thought it'd be louder, a different sound than the uh, the nameless muffler deletes, and it's actually quieter. It's a good tone. Um, I like loud exhaust, so we're going to go back with the nameless. I'm excited to see what it sounds like, and I'm going to roll some comparisons here. Let me know if you guys have any questions. In car with the windows down. Check this out guys, we're here at the slow motion getting the car tuned today. They have some sweet cars, this just pulled in. 
little right hand drive R32. Pretty sweet. I think he's a new owner here in Columbus, Ohio. They have some sweet stuff here though. What we're doing is retuning it because we threw on the catalyst downpipe, so I'm interested to see what power gains we can get. He already put it on there and had said it looks like there's some adjustments he can make, so we'll see what we end up at. I'll make sure to post the graphs here at the end. Gonna show you guys two pretty cool cars they have here. That STI, that's a WRX. It's pretty sweet though. This is the shop owner's Subaru. It's pretty quick. Here's one of the Evos they've tuned. That thing's pretty awesome. I think it's about 900 horsepower. Some cool stuff here. And here is, this is one sweet car. That's the shop owner's Evo. I think at one point in time it was a world record car. I'll have to look up and pull the times on it, but you can search slow motion motorsports Evo and that's it. That thing's sweet. I would love one of those one day. It's clean. Here's the exhaust I took off the car, the NVIDIA R400. I'm really debating on keeping it because it's really loud right now as you'll hear in this video as well as right here at this piece with the nameless exhaust it, uh, it bumps up against the the back differential so you can hear a rattle you might even hear it in the video and that's the pipe hitting against the differential because there's not that big of a gap they tweaked with it it's just interesting that it's that close but let me check out the condition on this thing of course it needs cleaned up as you see in the video on the other channel how easy it is to get these things shiny but I mean this thing been on the car for a couple thousand miles still has the sticker on it and everything and then that's the cob counted catted down pipe that came off the car pretty sweet stuff Line horsepower.
What's up? We're back. Today's day three, day one. We were getting the exhaust put back on the car. Friday, we got the car tuned because we put on a catalyst downpipe. And then today, I get to do some driving around to enjoy the car. Yesterday, while dynoing, it was 90 degrees outside. And today, it's 73. So hopefully, we can maybe feel a little difference there. Last time we got the car dynoed, it was 50 degrees. So heat definitely does play a difference in those cases. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple clips here. Starting with this car, I had a catback nameless exhaust with, with the 4-inch mufflers, I believe. I then ordered the nameless muffler deletes, and while I was there, they had an NVIDIA R400. So, I've had about three different exhausts on this car already, and I've switched them, switched them around quite a bit. The main part of this video is going to be a comparison between the NVIDIA R400 and the nameless muffler deletes because that's the two main exhausts I've had on the car. I took, I just took off the NVIDIA R400 and what I have on the car now is the nameless muffler deletes. Let me tell you, the nameless muffler deletes are a lot louder. I mean, listen to this. under 4,000 RPMs. I didn't even go above 4,000 RPMs. So, much louder. I like that about an exhaust. The, the NVIDIA R400 sounded great. It's a deeper sound. It's a more of a rumble than a, you know, a rasp like this has. Both great exhausts. I sold that yesterday. Part of me wishes I should have kept it because you know, I don't know if I'll get sick of this. You know, I can drive with the windows up, and this doesn't, it's not intolerable. You know, you can, if you stay in between 2,500 and 3,000 RPMs, you can get the perfect sound out of it. Not too loud, not too quiet. But if you're getting on it and accelerating, it is very loud. So if you live in a neighborhood or something and you're worried about making your neighbors mad, this will do the trick. Or, or don't get it for that reason. I live out in the country, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to roll some clips really quick of it on the dyno yesterday with this exhaust so you can hear what it's like, you know, right behind the car with some revs. And then, uh, you know, I'll post some comparison videos between the two and then we'll jump back in here and I can kind of talk a little bit about main differences between the two exhausts. See you guys in a second.
main things I wanted to touch on in this video is I get asked all the time, hey man, do you think this exhaust is gonna sound good on my car? Is this gonna be louder than this exhaust? And uh, one thing I would say is don't go to YouTube and watch videos and let that be what makes your complete decision. YouTube's a great, you know, you can definitely tell what's loud, you can get a good tone on YouTube, but I will say just between the nameless muffler delete in the NVIDIA R400 in person there is a huge difference with those exhausts you know the nameless muffler delete is a good bit louder than the NVIDIA R400 but when I upload a video to the computer and listen to them back to back as you guys will see it doesn't sound like there's much of a difference you know you can definitely tell there's a difference man I'm shooting this light you get that was a long yellow light I made it So try to find someone in town that maybe has an exhaust. Don't be afraid to buy an exhaust, put it on and take it off. You know, since I've had this car in April, I've had three exhausts on the car. And every time I've sold my old exhaust for probably 60% of what it was new. Now granted, I've only bought in one of the exhaust brand new, but I've always been able to sell them and get rid of them or you keep them because you might get bored. But it's on a scale of, you know, look at it on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the loudest, and vice versa. Obviously, something with no mufflers is going to be loud. It's the loudest you can get. Any muffler delete's pretty much going to sound comparable. The next thing to look at would be the diameter of piping. If you have 2-inch piping, 3-inch piping, a resonator, any cats, you know, that type of thing. So right now the setup I am running on this car is 100% catless, uh, basically a straight pipe. You know, no mu no mufflers in the back, on the axle back, and no cats from the turbo all the way back. It sounds great. It's very loud. Cruising right now at about 2,800 RPMs. It's bearable, but I like it. Some people, or if my wife's in the car, you know, it can get very loud if you're trying to talk and have a conversation. If you get a phone call and have to accelerate. You know, that can be hard. Let's see, I'll drop it down to fourth gear and just see. So as you can hear the exhaust, right now it's comparable to the volume of my voice talking in the car. Right, guys we're gonna finish the video up here I'm just pulled over cooling off for a second so make sure if you guys have any questions to leave them down below in the comments or you can find me on Instagram at CAD 2729 and you guys can mess message me with questions if it's questions regarding fitment you know how loud it is at a certain RPM I'd be glad to answer those for you I enjoyed making this video as I said, you know, if you're looking for something that's just all out loud, go with something that's a complete muffler delete, no mufflers from the axle back. Even louder than that, you could go with Catless from the turbo back. If you're looking for something that's about a five to seven on a scale of 10 loudness, look for something that has a, you know, uh, four to five inch muffler from the axle back. That's gonna quiet it down a good bit, but you're still gonna get that great tone. Again, guys, make sure to like and comment below and subscribe to the channel and give me any ideas if you have them in the video. Thanks, guys. See ya.